Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube tech guy. Hey guys, so today we are doing a very special comparison and that is the goal to find out which is the best universal kickstand. Now, I have wanted to figure this out for a long time because I love kickstands. I think they're awesome and it's really great when you have a case that has one, it's just nice. You can watch your phone however you want to, set it up however you want to, for video chat, for watching movies, whatever you need to do, but, when you don't want that specific case and you want a different case, you run into problems. And that's what we're here to find out to see which one is the best one. We got things from Spigen, Gearbest, Night Izzy, PopSocket, of course, and the new one from Spec, which I'm very interested in. So overall, we're gonna put it through its pace to see which one's really good and do three different tests. And that is a standing wireless charger, a flat wireless charger, and a car mount to see which one does the best at these three challenges. Now, before we do get started, I do wanna point out that unfortunately, Spigen did get eliminated while testing it out, it broke. So yeah, don't get that one because honestly, it was just flipping it out and it came undone and not very well made in that aspect. So very sorry to step, but we are eliminating Spigen automatically for just basic testing and not obviously that durable. So let's go ahead and test out the rest and see which one really is better. So we were able to get four of the kickstands on. We did not use the other two cases because one, I really had really thought about covering up this one. It's beautiful. And two, this one was too thick for two of the different kickstands. So I decided to eliminate this case. So let's go ahead and check it out. Starting with the first one, which is Live Easy. I believe that's the brand. I do not remember the name. It was a very generic brand. But I will say I've spent a lot of time with this one. Overall, it is very cheap feeling, but the adhesive is very strong. And as long as you put it on the very bottom part right here, it easily does standing this way or standing this way. Now let's go ahead and see if it does wireless charging for first the standing wireless charger. So yep, it works there. Now let's go ahead and put it on this one works there and now let's go ahead and check out the car mount does it fit yep so it fits pretty good it's at the edge basically so just kind of note that that it's pretty close to the edge just that extra little bit of thickness but overall it does work just fine so for this one, I will say I do not like the way it feels, and especially if you put it in a pocket sometimes, it kind of gets stuck like this, and you're like, wait, why won't it go through? And then you see what's going on. Other than that though, I have really liked this one. Now to the next one. So now we move on to the pop socket, definitely the most famous out of all of these. Pretty much everyone knows the whole idea is you can hold your phone like this very easily, and of course it doubles as a kickstand. I will say putting it in the middle, you cannot do it uh, the other way. I mean, it can kind of uh, be over the ground, but that's about it. Uh, otherwise you have to do it horizontally, no vertical. So we put it in the middle to see just how good it would do wireless charging. And let's see, looks like it's having a hard time finding it. Let me tilt it to see if that helps it. No, so it's having a little bit of a difficult time on the stand version. Now I will say this, uh, sometimes it's just certain uh, wireless charging stands are taller than others. So that will make a difference, but it looks like it's having even a hard time on the regular one. It should be about here. So, my best bet is that if you want to do pop sockets on a ra relatively thin case, I might add, I would say maybe do it closer to the bottom. It looks like it's just not going through uh, this. It looks like it's a little too thick. So please note that. And then we gotta go this way. And this is about to fall off. I mean, you could see the pop socket has way too much thickness. So. Definitely for a pop socket, put it lower, uh, kind of like how I put this one towards the bottom, and then you should have a better overall impression. But in the middle, unfortunately, pop socket's gonna be too thick for wireless charging, 
and honestly for most car mounts. And so upon putting it lower, uh, it still has an issue now with uh, the stand just because the lip isn't uh, big enough to hold it. However, with the regular wireless charger, it does now work. So flat ones do work with the pop socket lower, but not the standing ones. And now your car mount is much, much better off as with it uh, towards the bottom. So that is a much better way to go about it. And it still will hold for the most part, but it's kind of either or with pop socket. So I don't recommend pop socket for wireless charging and car mounting unfortunately. Now let's move on to the next one. Okay, so for the Night Izzy, it is nice uh, because it's a very thin profile, which I really like about this one. It is metal, so you cannot put it in the middle or it will interfere with wireless charging. Has the same kind of grip style that you get from the pop socket, but it honestly feels obviously better because it's metal instead of plastic. Um, and it does hold, again, horizontally, but not really vertically to put it lower. So it's kind of a choosing, uh, but the nice part is you still have the grip thing and you still have the horizontal part if you want to be able to do that. Now, let's see how this one does at the wireless charging. And so it does pick up, just to kind of show you how it is, it's kind of tilted in a specific way, but with that way, it did work just fine. And now let's try it over here, which it shouldn't have a problem with. Doesn't have a problem with the flat one, so you're fine there. And then the car mount shouldn't have any issue with it. Yeah, the car mount, it because it is lower, it has absolutely no issue with this. So yeah, a uh, really good one for the night, Izzy. Um, I actually like this one. I would choose this one number one right now just because of the build quality and because of the fact that it really does get out of the way and you have that grip thing that Pop Socket's known for. Mm -hmm. Uh, but yeah, let me know which one's your favorite so far and we'll keep moving on. All right, so this next one is from Gear Beast. Now, I thought it was Gear Best at first, uh, but nope, different company. So I really like this one because the kickstand is really long. Now, what's great about that is, is you can stand it up vertically or horizontally because of how long it is. The only concern is, is will it wirelessly charge because it does have a rather thick design compared to some of the others. But I do like that you have the grip as well. Uh, really good grip actually. I would say this has the best grip to a phone. Like you're not gonna drop this comparing to these two. Uh, and again, one of the only other ones to do vertically and horizontally kickstand. Let's go ahead and test it out though. And it did do the stand really well. So no problems there, immediately wirelessly charged. Now let's try this one. And you have both, so that was actually pretty good. I will say that upon testing it the first time, I had to like press it down with the wireless charging stand, but now it did it just off the bat. So I would just be cautionative of how thick your case is because I feel if the case is a little bit thicker, it would go off of a wireless charger stand. You can see kind of like how far it is. So just be cautionative with how thick your case is. And then the phone mount. So the car mount is not good because of its added thickness and it being in the middle, uh, it does definitely leave the possibility of falling out on a thicker case. So be cautionative again. This one I would recommend only with a very thin profile case for it to work with all of these different scenarios. Okay, so the spec one is the newest one and it's pretty interesting. So you have that again, ring handy here, which this one's probably, I would say the second best grip. I like it better than these two, but not as good as this one. Really good grip overall though. And again, it has a nice kickstand, ability to tilt it at an angle. Although you do have the ability to kind of do it vertically. It's a very slanted vertical. So just know that not probably good for say video chatting, unless it's you really need it at a tall angle. Overall, it's very similar to this one where you just push it up and then just pull it back down and it lays flat. A Little thicker, so I'm curious to see how we'll do with the wireless charging. It did seem to have the same issue as this one where unless it was at a specific kind of spot, it will work. So again, had this issue with uh, two of the other ones. Basically, you just have to be careful of how you put it overall. And it will work at times when you do it, but just be careful with that one. 
And then with the flat one, no real issues, works perfectly. Now, how about the car mount? Car mount, okay. Still not ideal. It's a little bit thinner than this one was, but not as good as this one or the pop socket or even the first one. So overall, uh, good, better than the pop socket was in the middle. Obviously it's not like falling off, but it's okay. Overall, the thickness doesn't add too much to the back. And I will say this does feel a lot sturdier than some of these other ones. So if I had to rank them for best kickstands overall, I think I would have to rate uh, the one that I had the longest uh, just because of how thin that profile is, it's just so thin. I definitely liked this one for a long time. However, the build quality probably needs the most work. Second off, I would probably say the Night Izzy, uh, which I was surprised by. I automatically thought it would be the worst because it's metal. However, I will say that I did, was impressed by how really thin profile it really is. Much thinner than like the Pop Socket or other ones. And although you only have the stand horizontally, it does easily work uh, with the regular wireless charger and with that, which is my most, you know, I understand that if it doesn't work perfectly with this, but it, as long as you tilted it at an angle, it was fine. It just couldn't be flat like that. So overall, this one was uh, probably my second favorite, followed by probably a tie between these two. Actually, no, that's not true. I think this one's a little bit better because it is thinner. Uh, so Spec had a really good one uh, just for having really solid flat and it, this probably the build quality takes a really nice and simple effect um overall i think this one's a solid one then gear best i just i wish it was thinner if this would be a little bit thinner it would have honestly taken the number one spot but it's so thick that i really it doesn't work on wireless charges as well but the kickstand is probably the best out of all of these uh, as well as the grip so if you're not using a wireless charger and if you're not using a, a car mount, then this one is your best kickstand out of all of them. And honestly, uh, besides Spigen, which obviously failed right from the beginning, pop sockets probably the weakest one. And I know it's the most popular one just cause you can get all these different pop sockets, uh, colors and styles, but it's probably the weakest one. It really makes wireless charging not work on almost every phone as if you have it with a phone case. If you don't have it with a phone case, you might have better luck, but it just obviously didn't work on a car mount because of its thickness. Um, and you really had to put it to the bottom. And then if you put it to the bottom, it doesn't really kickstand well. So it, it's just, it's, it's probably the least uh, one that I would recommend out of all of these. Again, number one, two, three, four, and five. Let me know which one you guys thought was the best overall. Honestly, this was pretty fun to kind of do. What other accessories are you guys interested in us comparing and seeing which one is the best? Thank you as always for watching. This has been R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube tech guy. Thank you for watching our video. If you liked it, why don't you go ahead and subscribe up there. Make sure you follow us on social media right here. And of course, check out our latest video up there. And right down here, you're going to find the perfect video for you. Or at least that's what YouTube tells me. Thanks again.